Hey everybody, back with a few more Bernie Williams cards. Wasn't planning on doing another Bernie video so soon after the last one I made, but had a few nice ones sent to me and also a few more that I bought, which I wasn't gonna show yet, but figured I would now since I'm making this video. But first got one from Jason Aaron Goldberg. And I appreciate him using the Yogi stamp. I actually bought a bunch of those Yogi stamps myself recently. But yeah, Jason had shown a Bernie card in one of his videos a while back and asked me if I had it and I did not. So he ended up sending it my way. It's a very interesting one from 2000 Crown Royale. I remember seeing cards from this set like on eBay and Comp C for years, but never actually held one. I always thought it was just like a regular acetate card, but it's different. It's kind of like a flimsy like film type material very odd odd in a good way in a very good way again it's so different from any card that I've ever held so thanks for sending that my way Jason really like it that's a very cool Bernie next got a few from my buddy Robert Gonzalez who's a fellow Bernie collector we talk mostly on Facebook he's also on Instagram I don't think he's on YouTube if he is, it's just as a watcher. He doesn't make videos. But yeah, we were talking on Facebook and he showed me this one and was asking if I had it. I told him I had a few raw copies of this, but he wanted to send me a graded version, which was really nice of him. Never gonna turn down a free graded Bernie, especially his earlier stuff. And so I thought that was all he was gonna send me. That was all he mentioned. But he included a bunch of other Bernies. Most of which I didn't have, which I was kind of surprised by. Because again, he didn't ask me if I had these. He just kind of threw them in. And he just happened to guess right on a lot of these. There's an Upper Deck Finite. Number to 1999. There's a Major Factors, I think from that same set, same year. That was number to 1599. Here's a Leaf Limited from 03. Again, I'm just showing the ones that I didn't have from the stack. That one's numbered to 9.99. And some Columbus Clippers, Bernie's. That was the AAA team for the Yankees when Bernie was coming up. There's a cool magnet here that he sent. He said this was some kind of giveaway at a Clippers game. Not when Bernie was there. That was much later when he was already in the big leagues. That's why it says before they were stars. But yeah, definitely did not have that. So another cool item for the Bernie collection. And he also sent a bunch of these Cracker Jack cards. I think this might be the complete set. I remember having some of these when I was a kid. Yeah, a lot of these guys probably didn't even make it. Bob Guerin was a player and coach for a few teams. Hal Morris, that might have been one of the ones I had when I was a kid. Randy Villardi was a solid big league player. Kevin Maz, that might have been another one that I had. But yeah, never had the Bernie Williams. And now I do. So again, I've already talked to him about these on Facebook. But if you ever happen to watch this, thanks for all that. Awesome stuff, Robert. Now here are a few that I purchased. This one I got a while ago, but couldn't remember if I showed it on YouTube or not. I know I've shown it everywhere else, but it was still out here on my table. So I wanted to make sure to show that one because it's pretty sweet. 99 Topps Chrome Refractor with Vlad Sr. And Greg Vaughn, who was one of my like under the radar guys that I collected a bit back then. I actually picked up a number card of him not too long ago and of course Bernie Williams so again just wanted to make sure to show that one on here and then here's another refractor but this one's from 2005 finest that's the green one number to 199 there's a bunch of different ones on, in that set I think I only have like two from that set here's a 98 Donra signature gold signature proof parallel 
which these are not numbered, but I think they were somewhat of a tough pull back then. Usually when people list them, they list them pretty high, which is kind of why I stayed away from them for a while, but was able to find this one for under 10 bucks, which is more my price range. Then got a few more from this year's Donruss. Got the Artist Proof number to 10. Got that for under 10 bucks, which was nice to be able to get one of the low numbered ones that cheap. And then I also got an autograph from this year's Donruss. Thought that's kind of cool with the 90 Donruss design. Bernie had a rookie card in 90 Donruss. Different image on his rookie card though. But yeah, pretty sweet with the sparkly shine. Number to 20. Career numbers on the back. Really solid career numbers. Awesome player. Love collecting them. Always will. And last bit of business to take care of in this one. This arrived just in time to make it into this video. But I ended up buying Bernie Williams wine. Which he did in collaboration with Millbrook Wines I think it's called. And he has three different ones but I only bought one because honestly I don't know much of anything about wine. I think I've had wine like twice in my entire life. So I figured I'd pick this one up and if anything I'll try the other ones at some other point in time. And from that same company, I ended up buying this dual signed print signed by Bernie and his daughter Beatrice who did the art that was used for the wine label. So I just thought that would be a pretty cool item to have in the collection and ended up loving it even more once I saw it in person. So very happy that I picked that up. And so that's it. I'll start working on a new Bernie stack soon and I'll be back with a few other things in the meantime.